Well, hello and welcome everybody to our coverage of a very special game in French football, indeed European football more broadly. It is, of course, Le Classique, the term which is applied to a game between Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille. Capital against province, north against south, the financial epicentre against what has traditionally at least been a working-class city, and now their citizens have a new channel through which to express their divisions. The history lesson's over for now, then. This is about the here and now. It is about sport. It is PSG and Olympique Marseille. This place, simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances. But you feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. So we're up and running. Milik. And it's played forward. Could move up a gear here. And it's Bernat. Neymar. Hits one! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Ganduzi plays it out to the wing. Hakimi gets his foot in there. Di Maria. Oh, that is asking. He's had a shot. And the ball's come out. Plays it back. And here's Neymar going for goal. Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for. A player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Paris Saint-Germain have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. And it's Contuzzi. Well, they are working very hard. Well, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Love a trier, Peter, but the wiser choice would have been ball into box. Di Maria gets it back. Well, they can break here. Di Maria pulls loose. Who's getting there? Gay. Messi. He'll try from distance. That has certainly tested the keeper. Messi sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Now it's Messi, and it's Gay. And here's Gay. 
Di Maria! It's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Neymar. And now they can launch a counter. Shot at goal! And it's there! And they're at it again in double quick time! Paris Saint-Germain are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Paris Saint-Germain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. It'll be a throw-in. Jerson goes for the cross. Oh, no, it's an own goal! Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. So one moment's crazy confusion, but they all count. Well, games like this, Peter, can often hinge on, on the smallest of details, so you have to wonder what effect it's going to have on, on everybody on this pitch now. And it's Neymar. Has a hit! This could fall anywhere. You can get that clear. to meet it decent attempt but not quite good enough Gonzalez plays it over to the other flank great strength too strong for his opponent Saliba Neymar, timely intervention, and out to safety. Hoists it forward, Milik threads one through. Well positioned to make that interception. Messi. Messi brings it forward. It's broken loose. Milik. It's the through ball. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And the referee has shown him a yellow card.
Maya with the short one. Milic shoots! It's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. Now, poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. And it's Di Maria. Idris again. There's the whistle for half time. Okay, apart from the obvious mishap, it's been a good half. They're still in the driving seat. Paris Saint Germain head in for half time with a 3 1 lead. <laughs> and the second half gets on the way. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Berati plays it forward. Chaleta Shah battles to win it back. Now the counter. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Oh, shooting chance! Bernat goes looking. Mbappe gets into a dangerous position. Messi. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Is it out of harm's way? Played out to the right. Jerson tries to get it forward quickly. Milik is fouled. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. He spotted the run and played him through. And he has been fouled there. And he has shown him a yellow card. He's pulled off a fine save. Messi really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Toletta Shah has got himself a free kick. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, he's over -hit it. Marseille can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Marco Verratti. Hakimi. Now it's Di Maria. Neymar. Di Maria. He's had a go! He scores! And the lead is three! It is surely done! 
With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. Paris Saint-Germain lost themselves into a three-goal lead. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Parrott. Into the channel. Under looking to run onto it. Defending of the desperate variety. Just brushed off the ball there. Kano Navas gets it upfield. Oh, real danger here! Now a chance to break. He's got away. Has a pop! Neymar opts to play it back. And it's missed. Big chance! He scored! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. That was glorious. Pinpoint accuracy. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. It's become a case of men against boys. Gonzalez. Forward it goes. Marseille getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Hoists it forward. That'll be a throw. Kamara. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Milik, out towards the flank. Neymar is being picked on here. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Marseille have a free kick. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Oh, Peter, what a lucky, lucky boy, a telling off as opposed to a sending off. Milik. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Baratti, who does have an assist to his name. Out to the right. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Marseille just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Look at... And Messi! Oh, almost a sixth. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Parrots battles to win it back. Under finds himself offside. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Marquinhos. Marco Verratti. And here's Di Maria. And here's Mauro Icardi. Di Maria. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, 
he has great set piece prowess. I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. He's shaping up to have a crack from here. Neymar! And how good was that? A finish of true class! This is as ruthless as it gets. Oh, that is a bit special. He snuffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. And that will be the final act. Paris Saint-Germain were irresistible here, dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result, a comfortable win. The end of the game. Reflections? Paris Saint-Germain made their intentions clear that no